Hi, my name is Jim Rick, and I'm a video editor here at DOS Reviews, and this is going to be a review of God of War 3. After the success of the second game, God of War 3 pulls out all the stops on what is to be Kratos' final journey. With the promise of huge battles, epic scale, and great graphics, God of War 3 has a lot to live up to, and it doesn't disappoint in any way. Pushing the PlayStation 3 to its limits, God of War 3 delivers a fantastic experience from start to finish that should be enjoyed by all. What will you do, father? You can no longer hide behind the skirts of Athena. Athena is dead because of the rage that consumed you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? God of War 3 picks up right where the second one left off, on the back of Guy going up the side of Mount Olympus on a mission to destroy the gods. Starting off as a mission for vengeance and revenge, quickly it becomes one of hope and retribution. While the story wasn't really that large in the last two games, God of War 3 boosts straight to the front lines. You get to meet plenty of interesting characters ranging from the maker of Pandora's box to the messenger of the gods Hermes. This being the conclusion of Kratos' story, the ending was shocking and had a few great twists to keep it fresh. While it is sad to see the trilogy end, hopefully there's more great God of War titles coming out in the future. Now in terms of graphics, God of War 3 pushes the PlayStation to its limits with the insane amount of units on screen, the size of the boss battles, and the level of detail in the environments and units. From the titans that you're fighting on to the mobs that you're stabbing, everything looks great. The scale and feel of the game is also enhanced by the graphics, as everything near and far is detailed and as lifelike as possible. I will leave nothing of you in my way. The kill things, ask questions later model is something that got it more inventive and definitely sticking to it. The gameplay is very much the same as the last several games but with a couple of minor improvements, mainly in terms of the combos, weapons, and how magic is obtained. You now get four different weapons like the Cletuses, which are just giant fist weapons, the Claws of Hades, Blades of Exile, which are Kratos' signature blades, and the Electrified Nemesis Whip. Along with some great accessories like the Bow of Apollo and Helios' head, all of the items can be stringed together for some sick combos that God of War is known Combos and upgrading in God of War 3 is exactly the same as the previous two games, mainly in the way that you use red orbs for upgrading, green orbs for health, and blue for magic. Magic is obtained now via the weapons that you get instead of given to you by other gods. For example, your Blades of Exile give you the Army of Sparta ability, which can knock everybody down, deal damage, and gives you a little bit of protection. The combat in general is the formula that God of War made, so why fix what's broken? Besides, watching Kratos swing his braids around is beautiful and fun to watch. Another series staple of God of War is the platforming and puzzles. Some of the platforming like the original two games is very tricky and can be frustrating when you miss a jump, but it's always cool to watch as Kratos leaps and swings from new heights. Puzzles are challenging and give you some thought process and it's always cool to be looking at it for 5 minutes and get that nice aha moment as it all falls into place.
Now possibly the best part of God of War and the most memorable moments have come from the boss battles. The sheer size of the bosses to the way that they're taken down leaves you feeling epic and amazing. Quick time events also make a return for when you go to finish a boss as you get to watch some sweet moves like snapping off their jaw to even pulling their head clean off. A neat feature was added where several of the fights end with you in the viewpoint of the god you're killing so you get to watch from a first person view as Kratos beats the life out of you. Though the game is really good, it doesn't stop it from having some glaring faults. The biggest one, and probably the complaint for all of the games, is the fact that invisible walls are everywhere. Which is annoying as most of the time you can skip over puzzles by jumping over them, but those invisible walls stop you. Understandably, the developers want you to go through its game's puzzles, but it's just that if they want you to, make the walls bigger. A small one that I found that was kind of annoying was the fact that when you tried to save the game, it was a pain because most of the time, the light that you stand in isn't where the prompt is, you have to run in circles until you find it. While that's not a huge fault, that came to be rather annoying as the game progressed. <laughs> God of War 3 is an amazing spectacle that really shows off the power and flexibility of the PlayStation 3. With the insane amount of units on screen, the size and epicness of the bosses, to even the mind-boggling puzzles, God of War 3 sticks to its tried and true roots gracefully and is possibly one of the best PS3 games out to date. I give God of War 3 a 95. And if you'd like to check out any of our other reviews, previews, or features, head over to dosreviews.com, check them out, and also drop by our store to see the deals we have on games and accessories. This is Doomraker, signing out.